Hey everybody, welcome back. We got um, a score of 26 LPs uh, this week. Um, we have test pressing. My first test pressing I found at a thrift store. We've got colored vinyl. We got sealed albums. So let's dig right into it. 26 total. Found this one yesterday, this Gang of Four Entertainment. I don't think this would pass today, this cover. I don't think you'd probably get like canceled or something. Makes a good statement though about, you know, historical stuff. So this one's a $35 album. Easy. New Wave. I think it's 1980, 1979. We got Peter Chris from Kiss. His solo album, Out of Control. That one's a $15 bill. Um, I already had this one. Picked it up again. This Jerry Rafferty, City to City. Uh, pretty solid album. It's a $10 bill. This one I wouldn't buy if it wasn't still factory sealed. Look at $1.37. Jeez. Factory sealed, um, normally not a great, a great buy, but you know it's we're looking at twenty bucks. Jane Fonda's workout record, the new and improved. It's got the hype sticker on it. Um, this one right here, it's a double LP. I would say, uh, I would say I could get an easy twenty bucks out of this, maybe more. Can't wait to listen to this one, uh, Patty Drew, Wild Is Love. Interesting. It took a look at it. It's a ten dollar album. All right. So here's the one I'm most excited about. Well, there's a few I'm excited about, but this one, Emergency. It's a twelve inch Xena on the upside, but when I flipped it over, check this out. It's actually a test pressing. So couldn't find anything about this specific test pressing anywhere in the web. So the I would probably say, you know, the twelve inch. I would probably say five bucks on that and you know I don't know 50 bucks on the test pressing who knows they're so rare you know you never find them Jerry Butler giving up on love it's interesting they stamp a stereo sticker on it um, this one still with the original shrink 15 bucks <clears throat> with the original shrink too this is actually a really rare album the ambassador college band and new world singers look look the world in the eye um, I was kind of surprised when I looked this up on Discogs. I use Discogs to look up a lot of valuations, eBay too, some other, you know, regular Google searches as well. But uh, for this specific album, 32 people have it and 64 want it on Discogs, which is just great. So we're going to call that 25 bucks, easy, probably more, probably way more actually. Um, another sealed album, Murphy's Greatest Hits, or Bits, sorry, Murphy's Greatest Bits. Um, comedy, when the sealed condition, 10 bucks. Normally comedy albums don't go for a whole lot unless they're incredibly rare. That's Little Whorehouse in Texas, Dolly Parton. Um, yeah, Dolly Parton always sells, and I was kind of surprised when I got into it. But yeah, her stuff, if I find it, it always sells uh, pretty good, actually. So this one, you know, I could easily get 10 bucks for, probably more. Freddie Walker, Rural Route 3, still kind of an original shrink it's all like off but we're gonna call that 10 bucks now this is probably almost tied for the test pressing in terms of coolness in my opinion this folklore uh, de mexico this one couldn't find anything on it other than the regular black vinyl the cool thing is this is three lps cool thing is, and I gotta clean these up just a little bit, look at this, look at this beautiful, it it probably shows up more red, but it's more like it's more like a, an amber color actually, if, in real life, that's one of the three um, and then you got two other ones, very similar in color, but they're just beautiful um, normally it's about a $10 album, well a $10 set, but for this one I'm going to say it's $50. Bucks. Um, if I sold it, I'd probably sell it, start it out for $75 or $100 or best offer, see what happens. Um, I buy classical from time to time if it's like in near mint condition, and that, uh, we got a little ding up here, but this, um, this Andre Previn, you could probably get easy, you know, $10 bucks for it. I buy a lot of these private press albums, Night of Music, 
they're just albums that someone just went out and uh, and pressed. It's not on a major label. So these I always snap up no matter what they are, unless they're totally destroyed, like the vinyl or the, the cover. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this Night of Music, I'd probably put 20 bucks on it. Interesting one here, this Maharishi. Um, it's in okay shape. You know, the cover could be better, but, you know, 10 bucks. If it was in better condition, I could get more. Um, we got Still Sealed. Um, it's actually partially sealed. That's weird. It looks like the seam came apart. I don't know. But anyway, the rest of it is, is definitely sealed. So <clears throat> this specific one, you know, I'd put 20 bucks on that easy. Jimmy Ellis. Um, Atlantic made a couple really cool albums. Um, you know, besides the rock stuff, they're also well known for their jazz. They have awesome, awesome jazz stuff. And I really want to listen to this. It looks like it's maybe soul, jazz. Not exactly sure. Look this one up. Easy 10 bucks. Uh, Jimmy Bryant back in town. Brian's back in town. This one, um, you know, still at the original shrink, 10 bucks. Ed Miller Sings. We got another private press album. Want to take a listen to this. 20 bucks there. Patty Page. A lot of these older, like 60s, late 50s albums, you want them to be in stereo if you can. So the stereo versions sell a hell of a lot better than the mono versions. So this one's actually a $15 bill. Cutting Remixes. Now it does have like a little DJ or catalog, um, you know, sticker on it. So anytime that happens, you know, you're looking at a little bit less of a value. But um, the medium price on Discogs is $13.47. 289 people want it. So let's call that 10 bucks. Dusty Springfield, The Look of Love. Um, this one I want to listen to. It uh, looks pretty, pretty interesting. So another $10 there. This is kind of funny, this uh, Square Dances with Calls, still in the original shrink. I always have a bunch of like odd stuff here. Uh, this one, I can't find much on it at all. Some people out on eBay are trying to get a little bit of money out of it. Um, no sales on Discogs. One person's trying to get $29.99. I think that's a little high. So I go 10 bucks. Les Baxter. This guy is awesome. This Love is Blue. It's got a stereo version of it. It's still with... Uh, the original shrink over it this album is going for a little bit of money um 10 people want it on discogs i'm sorry 10 have it 16 want it so when the you know the the wants exceed the haves it's always good money so that's 15 bucks another album with shrink this emil emil richards new time element looks like it's space age jazz according to discogs which means i'll probably like it Again, 49 people have it, 69 want it, so another 10 bucks. So all in all, you know, for 26 bucks plus tax here at Goodwill, that's $450 in value. So not a terrible week. Have a good one.